Hello everybody and welcome to Expeditions, a mod runner game. So this is the, the kind of first proper episode I guess really. I have done kind of an introduction episode but to be honest I was just literally teaching myself the game. So this is the first one, this is, this is the first proper mission on the first map. So we're in Arizona. Uh, in the Grand Canyon, in fact. Uh, Conquest of the Frontier is the first mission, which is the only mission actually unlocked. And uh, if you watch the introduction, you you kind of seen my rating of this particular vehicle. And it wasn't great. But it does suggest you should use a scout for this particular mission. And this is the only one I got, because I haven't unlocked anything. So... I don't have a choice. Now, I realise I probably didn't need to leave that metal detector on there. Probably not. But it doesn't matter. So, here we are. we are just got to get to it, really. Now, again, I have kind of seen this uh, in other videos, other YouTubers. But it's different watching it compared to actually doing it. And I really don't like this particular car. I really don't. It's pretty awful. I mean, we'll, we'll stick the four-wheel drive on. That'll be a good start. But look, it, it's even struggling just on flat ground. Look. Yeah, I I can't say I like this particularly much. But hopefully, this mission isn't going to be too bad. Too bad. So, we'll just get going now. So, we don't have many options for leaving the base. Let's have a look around. So, we'll do that now. Visit the viewpoint. So if you did watch the, the kind of introduction episode, hopefully you enjoyed it. This is different for me, different kind of video for me. Um, but I've been teasing it for a little while, haven't I? I, I have been talking about doing a SnowRunner series. Just made sense, really, when they, they've released a newer version. But it's very it's very different, yet very much the same as SnowRunner. Does that make sense? Probably not. But it, it's very different. It's not kind of got that whole kind of free roam and to be honest let's face it snow runner was just back and forward delivering pallets of stock to different places really wasn't it that, that's kind of all it was so hopefully this game does have a little bit more to it than that but that was the beauty of snow runner and that's why we loved it so i don't know it's good so far anyway the tutorial was certainly making me want to do a second episode pretty quick so now let's see what this is start scanning right we just got a I assume stop that in the gap. Relatively easy. God, that looks like Mrs. Travascus. Alright. Scan this. Oh, that one's a bit smaller. All good. I should keep saying things are easy, should I? Because I'm going to fail in a minute. The idea of this series is I don't do any editing as little editing as possible anyway that that's my plan right which means I have to be careful not to embarrass myself let's head down here this that I really don't rate this car I really don't rate this car and let's keep going get ourselves oh dear got ourselves to the bottom of the canyon certainly doesn't quite seem like we're in the full-on Grand Canyon so far. Potentially it's not quite this shallow. So, certainly not, you know, I'm pretty British. Well, I'm in fact Cornish down in Cornwall. Something like the Great Canyon, the Grand Canyon, is not, not something I've seen, potentially will ever see in person. I don't know, you never know, do you? Arizona is a long way away from little old Cornwall. Anyway, what does it want us to do? Explore the area. Okay, let's jump to the map. The mini map it calls it. I don't quite know how it gets mini map, but right. So pretty much all in front of us. So we will devices, binoculars, and kind of look in that direction. Look in that direction. Yeah, it's going up nice and quick. There we go. Find a way up. Up where? That's not up. That's down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in what I've seen you have to go to the top of that kind of cliff there. Although I'm also pretty sure in the video I've seen 
they had something better than this poxy little thing. Um, yeah. Okay, lower your tire pressure. Let's just go devices, drone. And this must, this must be the only way. Yeah, I'm sure it is the only way. But this vehicle is going to struggle. Where have we got to get to? Kind of over there. Um, well, that looks kind of like a roadway around there, doesn't it? So, I'll head around there. Um, this way. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it looks on the drain. So, again, I've got to say, this game runs so well. So well. I think I've seen the, the odd few people having issues where it's kind of a bit slow loading the textures here. I've not had that problem yet. The, the ground textures look fantastic. So I don't know, or maybe they're limited to, to consoles maybe, where you can't quite te tweak the level of ground texture. But certainly for me, I was kind of wondering what it would be like loading into a bigger map. You know, this Arizona map, I thought it's going to struggle maybe a little bit because of the amount of detail. But no problem, no problem at all. Although, as I say that, let me just, there we go, I nearly rolled down the cliff. Just turned my additional fan on then, just to make sure it does stay quite cool. Oh, that wasn't very good. Now, I haven't actually lowered the tyre pressure yet, like it's trying to suggest I need to do. I think this vehicle is a little bit more capable than maybe I've been giving it credit for. Or not. Or not. Oh dear. It's got quite good brakes, I will give it that. Right, now it did make me buy an anchor point. It also made me buy the the jack... What are they called? A jackhammer, I want to say it might be called? I don't know. Basically, if you topple your vehicle, I think you can recover yourself. I've seen it again. I've seen it in a video. I've not used it yet. To be honest, that feels like a little bit of a cheat. So I'll try and use that only as a last resort. But yeah, it did make me buy them, but it gave me the money for them. And I think if you can do the mission without using them, it does sell them back. And you get kind of, it looks like 50% of your money back. So it's just extra money at this point, isn't it? So I want to do whatever I can to not use those additional things. Which means just trying to be a little bit more careful. Okay, I think for all those years that that poor cactus there has been growing for we're just smashing through it like we don't care about the environment or at least we was bringing it with us at least oh, it's vanished right where are we going where are we going okay no problem we can do that I rather rather than jump off the end of that small little cliff let's take this route there is a risk I'm gonna get stuck in this mud though Right, trade. Oh, interesting. Dinosaur femur. Oh, that's cool. I don't have the storage space for anything. Other than what we actually need, but... I can... Oh, I can refuel now. How do I do that? Drain. Okay, cool. So at least I've refueled. Right, now what do I need to do? Where, where is it? Oh, I've got to go back again. Oh dear. So yeah, in a way, I guess, it's kind of like, a bit like SnowRunner, delivering one pallet to another pallet, except from it doesn't visually look like a pallet. But actually, so far, I guess it is quite similar. I don't know how I'm going to get on with the whole um, quite linear storyline, one mission after the other, and you click between the two. I think I would prefer it if you had to like commute between each one, a bit like SnowRunner made you do. But maybe, you know, it's early on. Maybe there is a huge benefit to this, and I'm just not seeing it yet. I don't know. There we go. Look, took out another one. Took out two more. Not very good for the environment at all. I'm sure this is the way we came. It certainly seems the only obvious way. 
this little this little scout, this little whatever it is, it looks like almost looks like an old golf, doesn't it? Or like a, a larder or something like that. It's actually doing okay. But I would quite like to get a better scout. Scouts are very handy, aren't they? But this one is just Yeah. I just said it was doing okay and it ain't doing okay. Right, let's go back. We've we've had our training. Lower the tire pressure. See if it'll actually grip without come on. Yeah. That does make a difference, you know, but I believe also you damage your wheels quite a lot with low tire pressure. Um We're going back to where we started, I'm guessing. Yeah, right. Tire pressure back to full. And we came up here somewhere. Yep, this way. Maybe if I took the metal detector off, it would have been lighter. Therefore, it would have been a bit easier to do this mission. Um, can I sort of slowly... Oh dear. Okay. Yep, retrace our footsteps. Oh, that's a drop. That's a drop. Okay, crisis averted, just. Um, where did I go? I didn't go up there, did I? That's not how I came down, but I reckon I can go up that way. I reckon. Let's give it a go. Oh dear. I am going to get stuck in this mud. Is that a thing? Does, does Arizona really have this much mud? I don't know. Again, I've never been there. I always thought it was pretty damn dry. Now, is this a good idea? <laughs> is this a good idea? Yeah, we can do this. Now, I do wonder... I've not seen too many. Again, a lot of people that... I say a lot of people. I've only really been watching one person play it, but... He's not really got far enough yet where he's kind of been towing vehicles. But I don't know whether or not a bit like SnowRunner, you can just stumble upon random vehicles and just take them. Restore them, fix the engine on site maybe, get them working. Or whether or not every vehicle in this game is, is kind of earned through missions. I don't know. That's that whole kind of linear thing I'm not too sure about yet. But I would quite like to maybe do some exploring. See if we can find a, a random scout sized vehicle just kind of dotted around. Right, this definitely is not the way we came though. But it's doing a good job. I guess the advantage of a scout, especially this sort of size scout, is it doesn't use a lot of fuel. But then it doesn't hold a lot of fuel. So it's kind of give and take, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's not the way that we came, but it worked. It did work. Um, let's drop down. Is this safe? Yeah. Well, that's good. First expedition. I feel this is probably the end of it. That didn't actually take very long. Not too bad at all. Although it does look like it's off the side of a cliff. No, it's just there. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Do we get some money back now for not using the jack and not using those anchor points? Because we didn't pay for them. They gave us money for them anyway. So it's just pure profit, isn't it? Deliver supplies. Deliver. Cool. Expedition completed. No, we didn't actually get money back, did we? Or does it show on the next screen? But yeah, we did. £1,350 for items sold, which must be the jack screws. That's the right word, jack screw, and the anchor points. So that's good. That is good. We've got 62,000 now. 62,000. Not bad at all. Let's return to the headquarters. See what it's given us now as the next challenge. So as you can see, off screen, I did the last two expeditions in this one here. They were kind of tutorial type ones, so I just thought it was a bit repetitive to do those. I just wanted to get straight into one of the maps. And I have unlocked this one as well now, but 
I feel the right thing to do maybe is do a few on Arizona. Maybe this is kind of how the game wants you to do it. Sort of continuation of a tutorial maybe. Now this one, what, what's this? Requirements a specialist. So again, I've seen this. Be interesting to see how it works. So you can actually almost hire a team to go with you. It'd be quite cool if it kind of animated them in the vehicle. That would look cool. But I don't know if it does. Alright, what do I need here? It wants me to use a scout again. I don't... <laughs> I don't really want to use it. Now, a lot of the people I've been watching have more than this because they've probably, again, they had like the pre-release version which wasn't from what I can gather, like special treatment for everyone. I think if you just paid more for the more premium version, you just got access to it a few days earlier than everyone else. But that obviously came with some extra vehicles as well. Whereas for me, I'm I like to do things the hard way, but I'm certainly limited on the starting vehicles. So from a scout point of view, it recommends a scout. I don't think it says you have to use a scout, or maybe I do. Just says take at least one truck, doesn't it? But we'll do it again. We're good. It's not going to be long before we don't use this. I promise you. Okay. So, so after spending 45 minutes doing two more expeditions and literally talking to myself, I've just realised it wasn't recording. Well, it was recording actually. That's a lie. It was recording all of the footage, but it wasn't recording my voice. That was very annoying. Now, I could have sat there for 45 minutes and kind of voiced over what I was doing. But why Why would I do that? That would just take so much time. So, you're kind of jumping into the future just like that. I have completed two more of the expeditions. Squatter's Rights, which was kind of finding someone living inside of a crashed aeroplane. And then Fallen from Heaven. Something to do with the drone, I think. I actually recorded everything that you've seen already earlier this morning. I've just got home from work and I thought, I need I need to do something. I was either going to sit here, watch 45 minutes of me playing the game and talk over it, or let's just jump forward. It's no harm. This is one of those series where it probably doesn't matter too much. Now, what I will say is, you, you know how I feel about that little scout vehicle anyway. I used it two more times. I used it for both of those expeditions and I've just about had enough of it now. To the point where I was probably going to go onto the other map, the Carpathians map, because I know that somewhere amongst that kind of first map you can find a better scout. But then I realised that actually the, the kind of fourth available mission to us requires an off-road truck. So we're going to stay in Arizona. We're going to earn a little bit more money whilst we can. It's not a great deal of money, is it? But then, you know, it's nearly five grand, isn't it? And, yeah, then I might do... I might do a Carpathians one. I might start that, see if I can kind of pre-locate where this scout is that I really, really want to get. That It's the can. Now, <laughs> I've talked about it a lot in the section that didn't record. So, you're probably thinking, what on earth is he talking about all of a sudden? Yeah, there is a. I'm pretty sure it's the vehicle which was actually on SnowRunner, and I'm sure it was called the same thing, the can. It's very. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but we'll just have to find it. Maybe we'll do that in this episode now. Maybe we will do that. But anyway, it's great to see it's not going to allow me to use that. Yeah. It's going to be one of these two. Now, I think from a off-road capability this is probably the better one isn't it because suspension is much much better and it's asking for certain cargo what is that so I need to attach the meteor station or meteo station so we'll do that and um, I actually again in the section that, that I played but you're not gonna see I didn't go for a jack screw but I bought these and I did roll that vehicle but I managed to anchor down and anchor and winch to it and roll myself back over. This, I feel, the jack screw is kind of a little bit cheating. So I'm going to try and avoid the jack screw. I'm just going to go for that. But I am going to try and limit what I'm taking so that we can pick up more stuff. Now, sideboards, this is kind of a new thing really because I haven't used 
these bigger off-road vehicles too much. So hydro motor, so you actually have to put these on. Well, I think I want that. What is this? I don't know what that is. I don't know if I need that. A more compact version of a normal rig. I don't even know what a normal rig is. <laughs> so that's no good. Um, spare parts. So I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be good. I feel like the way that this is setting us up, this is going to be a, a far more difficult mission, you know. We've not had to do anything at all, not like this yet. Um, okay, right, let, let's take a spare tyre. Because you can't repair tyres, can you? Okay, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Like I said, if I, if I do roll it, I can use that anchor to kind of right my wrongdoing. So that'll be fine. Interesting, at the bottom left there, it actually charges you for recovery. I'm sure that hasn't done before. £3,000 to recover. Quite expensive, isn't it? Cool. Right, okay. I don't think I really need to do much more, do I? Oh, interesting. So we have to explore the region to find these. Okay. Look at that. That's what we want. Right, I'm mucking around now. Get rid of that. It needs us to get a certain member of staff. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this in the video clip. I think I might have took someone on actually. I was very disappointed that it doesn't kind of doesn't animate the person. So this this kind of guy now, so Mike Nixon, he's gonna jump in with us. It's gonna cost us a bit of money, we've got to pay him some wages, but that's fine. But yeah, I really wanted it to animate them. Actually, kind of sat in the passenger seat. I thought that would be pretty cool. But, no, unfortunately. Um, why is it saying we need a portable meteor station? Do I need to get another one? Can I cope without the wheel? Don't know. Right, we needed to get two of them anyway. I think we can. It's not that difficult, is it? Oh, it's actually, it says difficulty easy. Right, let's do that. Stop chatting. Where do we need to go? Over to there. So yeah, this is definitely the best spot. Which I assume... Yeah. Start the expedition. Let's go for it. So yeah, I'm a little bit gutted. That <laughs> everything I did this morning when I was recording it was kind of a waste of time really so yeah a little bit annoying but just means I can progress a bit quicker I guess without having to record everything now which way do we want to go I feel like maybe maybe before we even start let's let's use the drone Yeah, actually, the way that you're facing probably isn't the best way, is it? This way is way... Ah, oh, easy. Right, so. Probably have to whack the four-wheel drive on. We'll see how far that we get without it. So the last vehicle wouldn't get over the stones. This one looks like it's going to start flying when it goes over a stone. It's pretty awful. Let's stick that four-wheel drive on. Right, here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This isn't the right way to go. Take it back. Could I get up there somehow? <laughs> This game is fantastic, isn't it? It just really, it really makes you think. What are you going to do? What's your next move going to be? Yeah, I reckon we can scale that a little bit there, you know. That shouldn't be too difficult for this beast of a truck. Oh, it's a completely different beast compared to that scout. It really is. I actually quite like this truck. I quite like it, it's powerful, it's pretty fast. 
it's not too bad. It's going to do this mission in no time. So I reckon may, maybe this for a minute would be the last of Arizona because although you've only seen me do, well by the time I've done this you've only seen me do two of them. But I have actually done four of the expeditions. So I feel after this I am going to jump to the the European map. A little bit more familiar to me as well anyway. A lot more mud, a lot more water from what I can gather. But hopefully find that scout. Maybe once I find it that will change things. Right, let's go. I've seen a couple of comments in the meantime because the the first the first episode, that tutorial type episode, has been out now for the majority of the day. So thanks for the, for the comments, some cheeky ones. Um, no, Curtis, I don't believe there is an option to wash your trucks. So ideal for me. Lovely. It does seem to automatically wash them between expeditions, though. So you haven't got to moan at me too much about having everything dirty. But I'll make sure I keep up that kind of rule whenever I'm playing the bomb sitting once again. So don't you worry about that. Do not worry about that. And uh, yeah, I didn't have a comment. I'll have a little look in a minute to see who it was. But yeah, the, um, for all of my moaning about the the scout, I did not actually have it in four wheel drive for a selection of it. So I wasn't helping myself, was I? Yeah, that was from Keith. Thanks for that, Keith. <laughs> I told you, I've made it pretty obvious. I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. My my uh, my habit now, my worst habit currently is I keep forgetting to take the damn handbrake off. Um, am I going the right way here? Yes, I am. Do I really want to go round that though? Can I just go up and over? Whoa. Got a bit of air then. I don't want to try and squeeze in that gap. Because, I don't know, it was almost suggesting that was the way to go, but it looked like I was going to get wedged. And actually, that was way easier, wasn't it? Look at that. Right, let's install one of these Meteo stations. So, deliver supplies. Wonderful. Look at that. No idea what it does, but it looks fancy, doesn't it? Weather monitoring station, I think. Right, where is the other one? Take a look at the tower. Oh no, I've actually got to get up there. Okay. I didn't even see that a minute ago. How did I not notice that? It's kind of massive. Right, let's go back the way we came down. Yeah, this truck is good, by the way. This truck is alright. I feel like maybe if we were ever going to invest money in kind of customising any vehicles, I feel like this might be a good one to spend a bit of money on. Nice, decent tyres. Probably raise it up a little bit more. The only thing I don't like about it is it just doesn't look cool, does it? Not yet, anyway. Right, um. Okay. It's amazing how high up we are all of a sudden. But we gotta get higher. Gotta get much higher. Just noticed as well, actually, we've hardly done anything yet. The fuel has gone down a quarter of a tank. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. Gonna have to keep an eye out for airdrops. How the heck are we going to get up there? Um, okay, turn the engine off a minute. Let's get this drone back out. See if I can spot an easy route up there. I mean, I'm assuming it's got to be here somewhere. Actually, kind of going back the way that we came is straight up, pretty much. Yeah, I feel like we probably could climb that, but... Right, no. Let's go back the way we came.
So yeah, this hopefully is going to be a short and sweet recording. It's currently Thursday. I had to do a later shift today at work. It's one of the main reasons I'm kind of a bit all over the place with kind of having some form of a schedule is lots of things have happened to a lot of my work colleagues. I've swapped days off. I've done different hours. I've split shifts. It's just kind of you know you've got to, sometimes you've got to do what's right, haven't you, for for friends and work colleagues. So. That's why my kind of usual time at home to record content has been all over the place and yeah, you can see the difference. Right, cool, handbrake. I almost forgot the handbrake then. That would not be good. Let's reduce the tire pressure down. Try again. So yeah, it's currently, um, what is it now? It must be, it's half eleven already. It's already half eleven. So I just want to short and sweet do do a couple of expeditions, just enough to finish off this episode, which I thought I'd already finished until I edited it and didn't have that sound. But I do a couple of extra ones now, just just to give me sort of a filler episode for Friday. And obviously Friday is is my actual day off tomorrow. You'll be seeing it on the day, but for me it's tomorrow. That is my actual day off, but my full focus needs to be on getting Perry and Travaskis back on form and getting that roleplay story mode sorted out back on Farming Simulator, which I do miss actually. I miss it quite a lot. But this particular one doesn't give you any sort of green progress bar. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Just taking pictures of stuff. Okay. It's still majestic and beautiful. It kind of looks a bit like a chimney, so where I am in Cornwall, we've got a lot of um, mining chimney houses and things. And they all kind of look like that. Not, not quite so wide, but definitely taller. They are absolutely all over the place. It's probably one in every five minutes in every direction of where I live. Quite a lot of history. Tin mining, that was the thing around where I am. Tin mining. In fact, it still still goes on. There's, I think they're reopening one of the mines right near me as well. So, still going on. Still gives people a lot of jobs. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think Cornwall was renowned for one of the best spots for tin, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. I know that pretty much most of the ground underneath where we all live in Cornwall is pretty much hollow. <laughs> it's been dug up that much. Anyway, right, let's deliver this. This might be end of expedition, or we might have to drive back to somewhere, wouldn't surprise me. Oh, no, it is the end. Amazing. Could have done with finding a cheeky... Uh, recognize at least one unknown point on the map. You know, I looked right at it as well. I should have got my binoculars out and actually looked at it. I've seen that. What it got? £500. Anyway, let's get that report. Wow, seven grand altogether. Seven grand. Ideal. Right. Now, they've... They've done an update. I think I might have mentioned it in this episode, actually. I'm not sure if this was one of the sections maybe that didn't record, but I mentioned about the two headquarters bit not fitting into one line. And I just found it bizarre that the E, R, and the S were kind of lower. But they, since I've been at work, or whilst I've been at work, there's been a little update and they fixed it. That's cool, because that was irritating me. It really was. So anyway, two headquarters which actually looks like one word now. See where we're at, look, £81,160. I just want to have a look and see what we've unlocked. Breaking Brad. <laughs> I think I have actually seen this one again in that, that one YouTuber I've been watching. Clearly that's a bit of a play on words for Breaking Bad, isn't it? Added a cheeky little R in there. And uh, yeah, uh, it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely a rip-off of that. I think you've got to find kind of an abandoned uh, little RV in the middle of the desert. Quite cool. But for a minute, I feel like we need to do something a bit different. Again, you haven't seen them all. 
because it didn't record properly but I've just done four missions in a row now it is recommending the scout again I don't know I actually quite liked that so let's use that cargo let's see what options we got Um. I don't know if we need all of this to be honest. I'm I'm still very much learning the game, but we will do that. I think we'll be alright for fuel. Anchor. Okay, same we need the anchor and the jack screw, so we haven't really got a choice there, have we? Definitely not. Uh, I think I want that again as well, because this I feel like this map has quite a lot of water. Maybe, I don't know. Spare wheel, I don't think I need a spare wheel. I don't think it's worth the money. No, and there's plenty of uh, airdrops dotted around, aren't there? What's here? Rangefinder, camera, camcorder, light beacon. Good, that, that will do. That will do. So, we need to take a colleague with us. Connor Erickson, we, we, he's helped us before, I'm sure. Might have been in the bit that you didn't actually see, but I've definitely helped had him on board. Cool, deploy. Now, I want to complete the mission, of course. I do. But what I realised during the, the section that you didn't see, I could actually, there, there was a mission where I could tow a truck, it's like a, almost like a side quest inside the mission. Now, before I get too carried away, let's change this to daylight. That's just made it even darker, let's try again. Boom, that's better. I do that mainly because I don't mind playing in the dark. It's mainly because I don't think you can see it too well on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, I noticed that you could actually do like the side quest, even though you were in the middle of an expedition. So if I can do the same thing on this, the, the YouTuber I watched, he kind of, he, he got this scout eventually, but he spent so long doing all of the missions in the first part of this Carpathian's map, just so that he could have the ability to free rope so he could go back and get that truck and I just feel he didn't need to do that I just feel like he could have just done that in the middle of an expedition took the truck back and then carried on going so that's what I'm going to try I'm going to try it I love the look of this map by the way I love it, it looks great green, this has definitely got more kind of snow runner vibes isn't it and a lot of mud and a lot of water. I don't actually know where we're going. I haven't really researched where we're going. I'm just going. Sometimes that is the best way. I'm not going to knock that tree over, am I? No, that tree's going to hurt, I think. I don't know what's worse, killing cactus or killing all of these trees I'm not sure where are we actually going get to the viewpoint I'm not even concentrated on what I'm meant to be doing I'm that concerned about whether I can get the scalp right let's have a look use binoculars to look around it doesn't So I need to get there first and then use binoculars? That's not a very clear instruction. Let's get there first. It's not prompting us to use binoculars just yet. So I've done all of this so far. I've not even stuck the four wheel drive on yet. This is impressive. I do like this truck. And I like the fact that the more kind of inventory you take, The more your, your flatbed fills up. Okay. It's still not actually <laughs> asked us to look at anything with the binoculars. That was a strange little order. 
Right, so I've got to climb up the mountain. I can do that. I got this far and I'm not even put four wheel drive on yet. This thing is an animal. Just as I said it, now I need to put four wheel drive on. There we go. Oh, look at it. Yeah, this is definitely my favourite vehicle so far. Definitely. Now I feel like that's the best way. Let's stick that on and let's just lower your pressures down. And we can do this in one go. Maybe. We don't need winches. We might need winches. We might do, actually. No, we don't. No, we don't need a winch. Look at that. What's a machine? Right, before I forget, let's get up here. Now, pick up the cargo. trade probably get a few extra little bits so that's what we need that's just extra money that's money that's money nice and then we might as well fill up the tank and oh we can actually take loads loads of more spare parts nice I don't know what the deal is with spare parts I don't know if that stays in your kind of inventory Explore the area. Okay. Yeah, the spare parts. Do they do they sell the excess, or do they stay with the truck? Don't know. Oh, I did suddenly jump then. Ah, okay. I don't think I can see the back of that, can I? That's probably what is behind all of that okay what about the drone doesn't have a lot of distance on it though does it we're certainly going to have to drive a little bit closer so what I'm keeping an eye on it's just to see that must be where we started. Oh, we are at our limit. Yeah, just to see if I can spot this um this scout somewhere. I don't know where it is, I'm not really sure, and I'm not gonna purposely go back and rewatch the video so I can find it. That's kinda cheating. It's already a little bit cheating the fact that I know roughly it's on this map. Because I've seen someone else do it. I think sometimes when you're doing your own series, and, and I wasn't sure if I was going to, by the way, but when you are, it's not always great to watch other YouTubers because it kind of gives it gives the surprise away, doesn't it, really? Yeah, I'd prefer to discover things as I'm going. This is such a fantastic game as well. The, these graphics are brilliant. And again, no problem. I'm not having any issues loading this. The, even the detail on this map, the greenery, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Probably a lot more going on than what Farming Simulator ha has going. Farming Simulator is very, very detailed, but I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot more detail going on here. And this game just runs it fine. The, uh, the makers of this game focus entertainment I want to say they've certainly figured out how to optimize a lot better than Giants have I am a Giants partner as well by the way I don't know if I've mentioned that but my kind of succession in my first 12 months of being in the world of YouTube from zero pretty much to Giants partner fantastic so I don't know what that means. Does that mean I've got to be nice about them all the time? I am nice about them all the time because they do do a great job. But they certainly should think about a partnership with these guys. Now, 
stop talking yep yeah, I want to go forward a little bit more then around to the left and then it should be fully explored let's try and do it without actually writing off the truck this way a bit around here any second now any second now any second now Come on. Or not? No? Okay. <laughs> there you go. As soon as I got my binoculars out, it done it. Right. Deliver the cargo. Um, okay. Interesting. All the way back over there. We can do it. Oh, look at that. Just smash that massive tree over as well. That looked like a big tree. This thing just goes through it. Oh, what about that one? Is it going to take that one out? No. <laughs> a little bit too big. God, this is easier than being a lumberjack. Just drive him. Run him over. Right. Don't go too fast. I do like these little makeshift roads they've got going though. They do look pretty cool. Right, where am I going? Let's go around this way. Bit of a scenic route. Oh, it's just not there we got to go anyway. It's quite a cool little base that we've got here actually, isn't it? It would be cool if there were little people walking around and just a bit more noise going on. Anyway, deliver supplies. Is that it? Is it oh, as easy as that? As easy as that. And we made decent money, you know. And we might have cost oh, £2,100 extra as well. £7,400 we made on the first mission of this map. That was the same as what we made on like the fourth or fifth of the last map. Amazing. Yeah, we definitely made a bit of cash on the, the extra jack screws that we picked up, that's for definite. Right, to headquarters. Definitely didn't see any scouts there. What, was the, what did I say it was called again? The can. Now, let me just have a sanity check. How am I doing for time? Right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Now it needs it needs us to take Anwar, hydrologist. So we'll take him with us and we'll go back to our trusty now because because this is my new fave. The definite. Do I need anything in particular? No I don't. So that is good. Now those spare parts just just vanished, didn't they? They just vanished. I wonder if there's a benefit to spending them, maybe. Before you finish. Right, we need that again. We do need that. I am going to take... I don't need to take anchor points because there's just trees everywhere. So no, I'm not going to take that. I don't even think I need to take fuel. Um... How difficult. No, it's, it's an easy mission. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. I want to try and get this done within kind of 10 minutes. And then I think that will be a good round off to getting an episode correct. Because of the hour that I recorded already, there's only about 15 minutes of it that was any good. So, yeah. If I can do about 45 minutes worth of my kind of evening session, which I'm doing now then I should get it just under an hour and anything just under an hour on YouTube is just better for its uploading time for the for the quality it just seems to be a bit better so yeah I'll try and keep it to just under now where have we got to go this time all the way over there oh 
all the way over there. It is literally right there. What am I talking about? I am impressed by this truck. Again, look, th there's no four-wheel drive on yet. It's almost like it was meant for this kind of environment. Brilliant. Right. Cross the Ford. Now, it wants us to use the binoculars. But I'm not going to use binoculars, I'm going to use the drone. But it's, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? What's that? Discovered a new Ford. The only thing that's kind of deep is that bit, but then it's not because I can still see the stones in the ground anyway. That isn't that bad. No. Ah, it's no, no bother at all. We'll stick four wheel drive on though, just for luck. Let's head on over. Don't go too fast. Ah, oh, now that we're closer as well, it's there's nothing to it at all, is there? Just this little bit here. Now, in theory, I can see the bottom, so I know how deep it is. But I am just going to use the echo sounder. Yeah. Right, so that, I can still see the bottom, but it is considered kind of medium depth. It's just interesting to know, isn't it, the future? I'm sure I can cope with that. Yeah. I'm sure there must be some sort of snorkel we can get for this in, in the future. But for now, it's no bother. Easy. That scout would not have done that, though. I think we might have been in trouble, you know, if we used the scout. I do think we would have been in trouble. Right, we're doing great. Looks like we're headed to that creek to the south. Yeah, looks like we are. Well spotted. This is a very good map. I am still keeping my eyes open for this kind of random truck. Because that's my objective, really. I want to. I just want to get it. Wow, look at that. Look at that detail up there. Right, start scanning. What does that mean? Okay, one of these kind of mini games again. Taking a picture of a tree. Good. Oh, look at that. Look. It looks like Santa Claus there, made out of wood. Good. Interesting totem. Looks like someone uses it as a sign to show roots. Okay. So that's kind of guiding us, is it? So. The totem of Father Christmas is our guide at the moment. Now I need to cross this obviously, do I just cross it here? I assume it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna wash us away, it doesn't look powerful enough, not for this animal. Okay. I was about to say, I, I think I'm going to have to stop and move out of the way of that tree, but nope. Just kind of glided over it. No problem at all. Right, what have I got? Overcome the swamp. Oh, interesting. It didn't tell us to bring an echo sander. I just felt like that was the right thing to do. And, seems a good option to do so. I wonder why that tree branch just suddenly started moving then. That was weird, wasn't it? I was so concerned about looking at that tree branch disappearing into the ground. I didn't look at why the echo sound is said to strike it. Oh, cool. Right. So we just want to get over to that rock. Oh. Okay. Now that definitely said <laughs> it wasn't bad it says green played me right okay 
says green. As soon as I went into it, it said it was damaging the truck. Let's try and go around this way. Oh, got a big ditch in the middle there. Look, we don't want to sink into that. Come on. Yeah. I think it scares you a bit by saying it's damaging the truck, when actually it isn't quite damaging the truck. So I've not had any engine damage come up. I don't think. But we are playing it safe and going around the outside. Might actually be a bad idea though. Um, right, I can see the ground though, so this can't be deep. Good, right. Oh, I keep pressing down, I don't want to press down do I? Okay. So, straight ahead should be fine. I need to get a snorkel for this. Raise that air intake. Because at the minute I'm getting dangerous water levels even though it says it's green. Right, great job. Guy was less fortunate. What, what guy? Oh, I didn't even see that. I did not even see... How did I miss that? I'm assuming that's not one that we can recover. Don't think that's what I'm looking for. So I'm purposely playing this map to keep an eye out for a vehicle so that we can see damaged and the first one that's there I didn't even see. Good start. Fantastic. Explore the area. Right. This, this feels like a drone. This feels like a drone job. I wonder if you can kind of improve the drone because it is pretty awful. Yeah, maybe you can. I also wish you could go to that map view without coming out of the drone. So I can see which area I actually need to go to because this is a bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I haven't been over here yet. I feel like with the drone you've actually got to fly directly over it as well. I'm still not seeing any dodgy trucks. 94, 99, there we go. Go to the stone head. Okay. I'm getting much better at turning... oh dear. Get much better at turning the handbrake off. Or taking the handbrake off. Right, now he drove into this crack in the ground. Um, okay. Can I just kind of scale that straight ahead? I reckon I can. If I line myself up nice and slow. Let's go straight up there. Yeah, look, it's just, it's just nothing for this truck. It's just nothing. Start scanning again. Oh, that's an interesting face. I wonder if you only get a certain amount of tries for the kind of thing to go up and down. I wonder. We can find more impressive landmarks in this region. Oh, nice. Does that mean we've done it? Yes. Just didn't find that damn scout though. Okay. Good. Got an engine upgrade for doing that as well. Look. Nice. Right, how much did we actually get? £4,800. We have nearly got £100,000. I have no idea what I'm going to spend it on, but isn't that good? It sounds good. Anyway. Cool.
Two expeditions completed on that Carpathian's map already. I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I'm going to stop it for here. Uh, try and get this episode out for Friday. So like I said, I'm recording it. It's Thursday night for me. It's quite late. In fact, it's probably Friday morning now. So it's very, very early Friday morning for me now. I'll try and get this out for Friday afternoon. I'm going to focus, put all of my time and efforts into doing the roleplay story mode uh, on Farming Simulator ready for Saturday. I need to get back into that habit. I need to get Terry and Travascus going back at it. And obviously I've got lots of stories for that. So that's my focus now. Hopefully the kind of you OGs, the originals, who are looking forward to a little bit more of the roleplay story mode. That will kind of wet your whistle, hopefully. But thank you very much for watching this. Uh, again, let me know what you think. It's very different. This is definitely the kind of game that I'm just kind of I'm learning. I'm bodging my way through. So nothing's planned. Nothing's scripted. There's no story involved with this. It's, this is like pure survival. Definitely. But I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got this far, of course, and you haven't subscribed, then why not? But either way, whether you decide to or not, I really appreciate you watching. And until the next episode, cheers and gone.